The U.S. Surgeon General issuing a warning on social media saying it could contribute to the nation's mental health crisis. 95% of kids between the ages of 13 and 17 report that they use social media, but that announcement says sites like TikTok and Instagram present a profound risk and even harm to our children. And Jim, the advisory cited several studies which found correlations between social media and depression, anxiety, poor sleep, online harassment, and low self-esteem. The Surgeon General is calling for action from policymakers and technology companies. CBS 12's Amber Robb joins us with how Florida is already working to do that. Amber? Liz and Jim, I'm outside the Dreyfus School of Arts in West Palm Beach, where starting this fall, this school, along with every school across the state of Florida, will start teaching kids about the harmful effects of social media. Protecting kids. That's the goal of a law signed by Governor Ron DeSantis earlier this month. The law, called Technology in K-12 Public Schools, requires schools to teach students in 6th through 12th grade about the social, emotional, and physical effects of social media during the school day. The bill's sponsor says the instruction will cover a lot of ground. The mental health, including addiction, the distribution of misinformation on social media, how social media manipulates behavior, and then the things like you know, cyberbullying and just the predatory behaviors of those on social media. Something the Organization for Social Media Safety says is essential. Social media safety education is critical for protecting K-12 through students from uh, these dangers that we're seeing all over the country. The bill's sponsor says this new law is a no-brainer, especially since it allows teachers to establish rules on cell phone use during instructional time. Not only is this gonna help the teachers and, and, and take some distraction out of the classroom in a learning environment, but it also helps just, at the end of the day, disconnect our kids from their phone. The law also bans access to social media on school devices, something the governor touted during the signing. We're also making sure that things like TikTok, uh, which is uh, monitored by the CCP, that that's not something that they're being able to use district servers and Wi-Fi uh, to be able to access. Social media expert Craig Agronoff says this law is great but the instruction should start at home. If we're not doing it at home and we're not proper online role models for our children, what, what, what we end up with is probably what we're going to end up with, right? We get the society we deserve sometimes. I've reached out to all the school districts in our area to get an idea of how they plan to implement this. So far, I've only heard back from the Palm Beach County School District, and they say they do have a plan in place to implement social media education curriculum starting in the fall. Reporting live in downtown West Palm Beach, I'm Amber Rubb, CBS 12 News.